Hello and welcome, my name is Materius and welcome to a new episode of Stoneheart. We're still in the Arctic, and we're still in hard mode, we're still surviving, and we are going to expand. We are going to build a big stair upstairs, that's one goal we have, and... We also need to get a blacksmith up and running. We got our masonry, we got our nice looking dinner hall. So first thing first, we're going to focus on our cook because I want to get the food up and running. And I'm not quite sure, I don't have a trapper yet, I guess. No, no, we do not have a trapper yet. Do we? No, we don't have a trapper. So we're going to focus on the trapper and we're going to focus on the cook. And let me show you our nice sleeping area, our mason working area. It's kind of down here, so he's got his basic working. He's going to need to make a pedestal. Yes, a pedestal. That's the first thing. We can craft one. Don't we even have one? Because that's kind of strange. We don't have a pedestal. Let me check that first, because we are not going to make stuff we don't need. As I thought, we already have a pedestal. And let's change this thing a little bit up. All right, we're going to place that on that side. And we are also going to place the beds we made. We did a little bit extension uh, because I want to have some travelers. This is kind of annoying. That rock is just in the way because I want to have one space next to it. And uh, we could lighten up the room a little bit. Doing that this way. And let's place the other one. We got one in three bedrooms. So let's place one here. That would look pretty nice. All right. Now, let's clean up a little bit of the mess because we got a lot of wood. We got a lot of wood laying down here. All right, they're going to work and we have wildlife sighted. Um, I'm going to make a cook. That's the first thing we are going to do. Do we have a passion or cook? Yes, we do. So you're going to change jobs. You are going to be the cook. And we're going to build a house for our cook. And I'm still going to use the basic house. We got the dining room. And for this, I'm going to attach your stone cottage. Or the attached stone hut. Alright, oh, I need to pause the game because it's going quite fast. We've gotten a lot of stuff, so we're getting new people. And we've got one new guy here. What are you? Who are you? And what do you want? She is an empathetic. And she's optional. Aaron Safar has an Opinion on oh opinion all she, she she's got an opinion on everything she's got good spirit good body crappy mind that's kind of shame so not quite sure what you're going to do all right now I'm going to build one house next to this and uh, we're going to use I guess this house uh, let's see because. Going to place it quite next to the hall because the cook does need to make his stuff. I'm not quite sure. No, this is not going to work because I need a little bit, little bit bigger house. The cook is needs some space, and I guess this house is a little bit bigger. Come on, change that around. Yeah, we're going to place this one. Not quite sure this is going to go. Right, we're going to remove these beds. And we're going to remove the dining area, but and we're going to place in a simple bed because the cock is going to get his first own bed. It's the first guy who is going getting his own bed. And yeah, we're kind of going to make this into... Alright, we got our resources. 
we're going to make this into a kitchen. And the kitchen has two important things. We need a place where they can put in the raw uh, meat and that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to place the finished products in the dining room. That way we are going to be able to Alright, so they're kind of close next to each other, but that doesn't matter at all. Alright, let's get out of building mode. And the cook is going to build stuff. This is kind of annoying because, yes, that way it does look nice. Ooh, we got coal up there. Now, the next thing I need to make is a trapper. A trapper is going to bring in the food. And ooh, we got invaders approaching. Uh, they won't be able to get up here. Before we make the stair up, up there, we are going to need our first... Our first uh, defense line. We need our second soldiers, that's for sure when we build our stairs up there because now we're kind of safe but that won't be long all right now we need to make ourselves a trapper and for a trapper we need a trapper knife uh, we can make one of those and what do we need more Cobblestone fence, no, no, we're going to make stuff that's going to make us money. That one is 10, that one is 9, and kind of want to make those, but those are 20. And they only cost 2 stone, so that's a major profit. Uh, but at the moment we are going to keep it because this one is only one stone and let's make 20 more of those because I can sell those I can sell those for a lot of money uh, norm oh. all right he's kind of the wood guy does he have anything interesting a quenching station I'm not quite sure what that is but looks kind of interesting But for now, let's sell some stuff. Uh, we're going to sell those. Just because we don't need them. And we got the trapper's knife, so I can... Do you have armor on? Or is it just looking like you have armor on? Ugly aesthetics. Alright, so we definitely need to do something about that. You like stone doors, you like the banner of strength. But you hate the aesthetics. Mm, not quite sure what we are going to do about that. Because I don't have a clay guy here. And the, this is clay. But the only way to make... These look like bunnies. These are bunnies. That's kind of funny. And I didn't make these. These are kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, now let's build a little bit aesthetic then, I guess, because my people need some aesthetic. Uh, where's the road? I need a road. I'm going to build a nice colored road. Need to build it four. Not quite sure if this is what I want it to look like, but for now it will do. For now it will do. Maybe we should have picked another color because that, that would have looked way nicer.
that one. And they're building the house quite fast. Get some more invaders approaching. Oh, these are close. So drop all your things, start fighting because we need to defend our warrior. Oh, because I. You need to go there. You, you shouldn't fight all on yourself because that's kind of dangerous. Alright, let them fight. Do the fighting thing first. Just walk around. Cause they do a great job killing them. Alright. That was quite a good battle. Quite a good battle. Alright, now we need to make a trapper because we got our trapper now and who's going to be the trapper? I want it to be somebody with learning skills. Somebody with high learning skills, low spirits. All right, who is it going to be? I kind of want you to be the soldier. But do we get anybody who can be a trapper or a good trapper? You're gluttonous, so you... Yeah, I guess this is the only one that can do it. You're going to be the trapper, and I definitely want a second warrior, and I already know who is it who's going to be. It's going to be Scarf Snoon. Change up. You're going to be the second soldier because I definitely need a second soldier in this area, and where we get a lot of plants in this episode. Let's speed it up again. Now we are going to set ourselves a trapping area. This is going to be the trapper area. And we are going to trap kind of wild, small, wild stuff. And he's going to set up the traps. We might need to move it a little bit more to the right once we are building walls and that kind of stuff. But for now, we should be doing pretty fine. Let's take a look what's going out inside. They're still working on kinda building stone and removing all the stuff. Uh, let's see, I want a stone candle. That looks pretty nice, mason wall. There's a lot of nice stuff we can make, but do we really need it? Supply table. All stuff. We can use, but I wonder how they like the aesthetic in this room at the moment. Let's see if we can see. Feared for my life, meal was good. Pioneering spirit. Protected the town, that's a good thing. Beautiful dining. Alright, so they do like the dining. And we get a Mason level 4 already. We're doing pretty well. Alright, let's see if we can get the cooking place ready. I guess the cook can make a cooking place ready. Let's see, we got the cook and he can make his stone cauldron. And the... This is for finished stuff. Uh, finished work shell, so I'm going to get two of these, or one of these for food. And stonework supply table. 
You are going to make one bed so that the cook is going to get his own bed. Grab one of these daily updates and yes we are going to get another person. That's a good thing. Alright now let's see what do we need for the cooking place. We do need a lot of things. Stonework corner, no. A supply rack. I guess this one will do. A stone chest. I guess the stone chest will do. Let's make two stone chests. I want to give him his own... His own table. So we're going to build... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We're going to give him his own table. It should be right in here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, crack one. And that one. Alright. Guess once that all built. And somebody arrived for the winter sale. This is the clay stuff. So. Is there anything interesting? Green clay door, reinforced steel door. No, only the window stuff, but he does have money, so we can sell these guys. Sell 10. Um, but I guess, oh yeah, I want to sell these, sell them. I have a trapper, so, oh, I think I made two knives. Oh well, oh well, let's uh, put that house in half. It's kind of hard building and placing stuff when you don't know how the house is going to look. What's the front? This is... No, we're, we're not going to place that yet. What we do, we are able to place is the finishing. Oh, they didn't finish that yet. I wanted to place the uh, stone finished workshop, but he hasn't finished it yet. So let's place those at the bottom. And let's craft 20 more, because you need to stay at work. You need to keep working. All right, let's hope we will finish all this in this episode so I'm going to speed up a little bit just because we need it and we'll be back when we finish the cookhouse and the cookhouse is finally finished let's take a look inside what we did with the plates because we placed the cooking pot here we still need to change the table cancel the placement I guess we need to remove it the cook got his own bed and our people are kind of doing nothing at the moment because our stockpile is kind of full and yeah kind of everything is done so let's pause the game a little bit and let's see what we're going to do next I still wanted to have the roads done and the last thing in this episode what we want to do is build our area up in the next episode I'm going to build a tower here kind of in the middle we're going to construct it totally on my own and we're going to see what's going to happen with that because that's kind of hard all right let's see Ronya has returned Ronya appears at the edge of the camp you returned Ronya stirs at the camp smiling approving I have come again to pass your stories to the library she indicates she sits by the fire, produces another birch shaving, and waits. Well, since your last were here, Ronya notes every everyone's adventures in ruins on the bird ba birch back. I think that's kind of paper, something like that. Not kind of sure. And again, commits them to the flames. All right, guess she's going to write. I wonder what we are going to get from her. I guess not much. And the merchant comes again. We finally can sell. And we're getting slowly getting a lot of money. And I has joined. Oh yeah, that's the new guy. I gave my cook the order to 
keep cooking. That way uh, he needs to fill these supplies, but he's not doing that yet. So I'm wondering where every food is going, but we'll see. We are going to watch what is going to happen because all the raw stuff needs to go in here. And then the cook is going to place it on the shelves and the people can eat whenever they want. I've set it at a minimum of four, but maybe I'm going to up that a bit. And then our people pick it up. And why are you eating it? What are you going to do with that? Oh, you're going to move it to this place. That's not a good idea. Can we change that? Because I don't want I don't want that. I want my food to be at the dining hall. So let's set up the filter because I want my cooked ingredients or cooked food and drinks to be at the dining hall. I was already wondering why everything went that way. Alright, now the last few things we are going to build in this episode. It should work fine by now, but we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. I was building roads. I'm not 100% not sure about this one yet. So I'm going to erase... Oh, I can only erase the complete thing. Wonderful. Well, I did want something a little bit more colorful. I guess this is more colorful. And let's start. I don't want to raise it. I want to build it. Build a road. Maybe this one. Yeah, this one looks pretty nice. It built a road to the town center. Going to be four wide. Let's build it because that way my people have something to do. And I need to see it with my eyes how the doors will fit. This one needs to be four wide. One, two. One, two. No, it's going to be three. All right, so we're going to make a small one of three. And another small one of also three. This one is then going to be four. That way we can make a little bit more interactions and they will walk faster on roads. So that's also, it doesn't only look nice, but it also helps. That's the most important thing. Now for our ladder, because oh, I need to go up a little bit, I think. No, 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 not the x-ray, this one, the slice, yes, that one. Now let's see if we can pull this off. Because that's going to be one big stair. All right, so I guess I do need to build some kind of building here to get upstairs and I will definitely do that but we're going to do that in the next episode we did a lot of things in this episode and although it's on hard difficulty we are able to protect our towns and we got a lot of wood and resources and as you can see they should be picking up placing the food in this area let's check if they are already doing that Guess not. We got one more invader, one big wolf. Let's see how our fighters will do against that one. These are uh, two wolves. We got two wolves. That's not good. But we'll take them down pretty fast. That's kind of a problem with the Trapper. He is kind of out of the safe zone. Uh, 
And I guess the next episode we also need to focus on our herbalist. Because he will be needed. He will be needed for sure. Alright, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. And I hope you guys will all check out the next episode. So, if you have any comment, leave it in the comment section down below. I will always reply in your comment. I don't, don't mind what you have to say. Speak your mind. Give your opinion. I really like to hear them. So, see you all next episode.